Hello everybody out there who loves coffee. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. Yes, that's right, we're back. For our, is it the fifth day now? Of talking about sweet, delicious coffee. Um, so, yeah, in the previous video we had Hyde being a dick to the girl Lau, Lu, whatever her name is, um, about her boyfriend who she wants to be with but she feels guilty over the fact he would have to abandon his family. It got real heated or real intense, I felt, in that in the last video, more than it has been in the previous ones, I felt. Um, today's headlines, <clears throat> in the evening whispers, um, opinion, uh, who watches The Watchmen in Seattle? Cats are the best creatures <coughs> on Earth, uh, research is proven, apparently. And Atlantic countries plead for land folk to send help instead of trash, which is funny as hell to me. So we're on the fifth day, I believe now, at this point. I'll keep an eye on the recording as per usual. And uh, yeah, what's going to happen tonight? Who's going to come in? Freya, of course. Well, oh, okay. Mm, welcome. Uh, Neil Armstrong. I don't know. <laughs> Spaceman is coming. This is an interesting customer. What the fuck? Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, I'm interested to see how he drinks his coffee. Ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, linguist. Oh, I can't say the word right now. Linguistic problem. Fuck. Why can't I say that word? Linguistic problem. Is that is that right? How's that? Linguistics. Anyway, we will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. Um, but I can get mocked there, but whatever. Uh, we do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate your, our order. Please pardon us. Hmm. What do you recommend? We will not be able to take uh, to taste the difference anyway. Ah, what do you mean? Is it all right? Forget it. What is your most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? It's, that is interesting. I'm interested to know that what, why that is as well. Unlike other places we have visited so far, have you decided what, on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. 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 So I can give him whatever I want. What if I go... Chocolate. Wait, did I pick chocolate? No, I want chocolate. Oh, I see. What's this? Cinnamon. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not too sure what to make there with the cinnamon. I was going to go chocolate milk chocolate. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to just try it. Uh. Here we go. <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to taste like. That's a British flag, right? Or is that just me? Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry. It will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. How to get a drink here? Oh, through his finger. Um, yes. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Why did you put your finger in the drink? I'm assuming he tastes it through the feeling of a finger or whatever the senses. That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Using a poly... Uh, okay, poly... Prime Lane drinking apparatus to provide for us to use. Pardon? 
It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes. We wonder why earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered. And it has become one of the biggest single use pollutants on your, on your planet. Pollutants on your planet. Mm. What is plastic? We're trying to, we're changing them right actually to uh, um, cardboard, aren't we? Or something like that. McDonald's did it. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? With a straw, the same as we just did. But thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making process. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hand on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far. Ah. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what, what the Earthlings call a female. Ooh, that's kind of complicated. And then, breed. <laughs> um, um, it depends on what you look like. It depends on how much you're willing to pay or how much money you have. Um, are you six foot tall? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> So you came from a far away place to find a date? Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. <laughs> Doesn't understand the concept of a date, but okay. No, I'm talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Ah. Uh, I wasn't talking about that kind of day either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own language. Earthlings really do. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. Uh, I think it's your understanding of our world, but go on. There are many ways to make communication more direct and simple. It's not about communication at this point, it's about knowledge and what your field you're going into. If you're trying to breed or have some kind of systematic dating, like going into the breed with someone, you've got to understand how that race of people or whatever do it specifically, or what the cultural norms are. So if you're an alien coming down you would, and you're as intelligent as you are, speaking our language or whatever it is, you would surely have watched and seen plenty of interactions, of getting someone to fall in love with you, or whatever you want to call it, etc, etc. <sighs> of all the places we have been to, this has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. <laughs> Not surprised at that. We are using this unique communication application, is it Tinder? According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Go on. Although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about it. Wait. Are you talking about a dating app? There you go. This system used a fire symbol as their sign. This system used a fire symbol to, as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. Yeah, okay. So the fire symbol is Tinder, right? But everyone just won't say it. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? You mean it matched with you and didn't speak to you? According to understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Uh... And when two interactions swipe right between each other they can commence the introduction to the breeding process 
Ooh, it doesn't work out like it doesn't really work that way, but okay. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And when they said some words, they that cannot be considered proper. <laughs> okay, so we used emojis. I I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. <laughs> did you get to meet them? No, he didn't met none of them. We set up meetings. Okay, many of them did not appear. There you go. But some did. Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. Not No outcome from the meetings. Even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places. Oh, okay. Yes. Interesting. Then you're supposed to meet someone here. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each herbling has like, a different inter... Interpretation? What? Inter oh, interpretations of time. You're right about that. Is she here now? Is she hot? Oh my god. It's an orc. <laughs> Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte? Uh, cafe latte? What? Oh. Coffee, milk, milk. So I assume it's her. This is going to be good. Enjoy. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Oh, so she ain't there to meet him. I wonder if he has an interaction with her, though, anyway. Excuse me? Are you here to breed? <laughs> Can I help you with something? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. She can ask me questions now. Uh... Um, excuse us he's asking yes are you waiting for someone <sighs> not this again no I'm not waiting for anyone are you sure yes I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone because we are waiting for someone from this app <laughs> and she is an orc just like you oh she's an orc Okay, damn, okay. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on earth. <laughs> Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name you Rocky whatever that is, 69? Oh my god. Is this guy sane? Please pardon me, miss. I don't think they are from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Yukra High 69, whatever? No. My name is My Mitra. My writer? What? My tower? Whatever. And I never use I'm um, High anywhere, whatever. Oh, you really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men. Well, seriously, men nowadays. If you are that desperate for a to find a date, why don't you ask your friends? Or go to a club or something. But we don't have any friends on Earth. <laughs> hey, he said he's not from around here. Are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I'm gathering up to it now, up to now, well, the man's got a spacesuit on. They're not from this planet. Man. Pardon us for interrupting. But when you said club, which activities are you talking about? According to the research results, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. 
like this club about space exploration. <laughs> they call themselves Trekkies. God darn Jesus. <laughs> Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female walk? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. If she didn't reply, I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Moritor, whatever, Mito, whatever, here is right. Why can't I just call her normal names or something I can read? Hmm. That was... We, we are a pretty objective people. But somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthling use strategies to breed? The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases to amaze us. In that, if that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back Im immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future and have a very nice... Oh, you have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Perry. Thank you for your time, Perry. And thank you for your input. Also, Miss Mytil, whatever. We will definitely study of a breeding strategy of Earth. Sure. It's called Norm, by the way. The uh, breeding norms. Although you can also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay, Ben, we're off. Take care on your way. Fuck you, now. That's funny. The fact she was the same race as well just was like hilarious to me. Whoa, boy, who the hell was that? You, oh. Oh, hi there, Freya. I can't be able to explain it to her, surely. That was an astronaut doing. Uh, what is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their other. for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Lucky of a dog? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does the date look like? The date looked like she never showed and she's an orc. The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on a date? I have no fucking clue. I mean, showing off your job is pretty common. Um, you know what? If he is standing there in an astronaut suit and you're looking for the fucking window and see it's your date. Like, dude, what the... He said he was an astronaut or spaceman. But that shit's ridiculous. But it doesn't have to, to be that literal, you know? I don't think they are an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Huh? What do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like Englishman in New York, alien or alien alien? Uh, the second one? I don't know. Alien alien, there you go. Out of space? Probably. Or other dimensions? I don't know. Didn't ask really. Whoa. Like super whoa. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but... Whoa, life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. <laughs> oh yeah, how's it going so far? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? I love how I would say something like that. Like just nice, okay. Or well, good, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I want to see it, but she, I don't think she's going to produce anything to us. She hasn't done any, given us anything thus far, and she's been doing this for days. Uh, there you go. She's stuck, or she's refusing to. What's wrong with her? Is she bullshitting us? Hey, it's your life. What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've gotten written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. 
besides if you're not that confident with it maybe i can share some feedback that's a good point i'm good at giving feedback my opinions uh hell you could even ask the orc next to you if she wanted to chip in and give us some feedback that's always a good it's good to have a few different points of views uh as you go to make it better you know and if you look at multiple people's point of view uh and see what they look like if you have 10 people in a room and they're all brutally honest and eight of them love it stick with it if only two of them love it then you go shit i have to change it or i have to do whatever you know what i mean just generalization of feedback you're right i actually have prepared a printout of the draft so you're planning to show it all along ha 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 i wasn't sure about it if um it's the first pre uh, presentable draft anyway come on i know the drill and i'm pretty familiar with your stuff all right all right let me get out of my bag be honest with your feedback oh i will now will we hand it over what's wrong with this chick um it's okay freya <sighs> here it is thank you now let's see oh getting interesting let's see what she's right wait oh, i'm not even gonna judge yet i'm just gotta say what i gotta say it's bullshit how was it how was it let me read it at my own pace okay uh we can't even read it that's bullshit i get it but whatever it's frustrating hmm what's wrong is it that bad the main character oh my is the main character badly written i don't think the character suits my personality that's because you're not the inspiration too bad you have a prime example standing in front of you every day <laughs> prime example you they're like the most mysterious person i've ever met <sighs> that's kind of funny uh wait i think someone's coming hey the draft i'm not done yet calm down jesus christ i ain't going nowhere what the fuck welcome <laughs> would you like a drink here or take away miss she looks like she's some kind of fish she's got those gills on her that is kind of creepy to me here please what would you like or maybe you would like to sit down first before deciding are all the right way no need to hurry take your time hmm is it okay if i order something a bit complicated go on you can order whatever you like as long as we have the ingredients everything's the same price are we gonna make money in this place really if that's what if that's the case do you know mass masala cha what no the tea with spices yes okay i right, to order master chi then please uh give me 10 minutes it's a tea it's a tea where's the fucking tea green tea latte spice lady oh so we just got to make it ourselves and pray to god it works So the guy, the one that he wanted earlier, who we fucked up, wanted coffee, coffee and ginger, okay. But this one is, okay, so let's go back to what she said. She said she wanted a what? Spices. The tea with spices. So it's tea. And spices we're looking for. Wait. I have no idea, that's just cinnamon. What the fuck is spicy? I have no idea. It's, it's, a, it's got sand gang on here.
Um, I just, I don't know, I'm just going to have to, oh wait, spice lady, that's chocolate milk with cinnamon, oh, okay, hold on, so spice lady, so maybe we can just change that with tea, milk and cinnamon, okay, so tea, milk, and cinnamon, here we go, Your drink is ready. Hmm. I... Yes, miss? Ah, nothing. I should give it a try first. Oh, I fucked it up, but whatever. Ah, as I thought. What did you think of it, miss? Ah, sorry, I forgot you could hear me. The drink is... It's good. But it's not what I ordered. Fuck. Oh, my. That, that was my mistake. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yes. Understood, miss. Huh? And she's got a text or something. Shit, I fucked that up. Where were we? Oh, I, man, I've just fucked up an order. I'm really pissed off and annoyed at myself. Just be quiet for a minute, Freya. I mean... See, sp Spice Lady was, was cinnamon milk. And now I just replaced the chocolate with tea. Ah, there we go. It's tea, milk, and cinnamon. I did that, though. I did do that. What the fuck are they on about? That has pissed me off. I want to take that drink back off of her. And fuck it. Oh, fuck off. Right, where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. Oh, I see. If the readers know me. So maybe she's making the, the main character about herself. And she's putting herself behind the counter of the coffee shop. Okay. that's Because you can do anything with this. You could put make the, the person an alien behind the counter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. So, okay. I, I get it. She's making herself a star of the book. I'm kind of starting to resent her a little bit here. Because she's taking everything what she's seeing. And just putting herself in the position. And then she's going to make profit off of it. Let's be honest at this point. It's kind of frustrating to me. I feel a, bit, a, little, a little bit resentful when you think about it right now at this point in time. But I notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write. Well, it would, yeah. You can put your own opinions into it. If you say so. Uh, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know? In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. She's shocked now she's going to want to see. She's like, don't spread that shit around. <laughs> hey. Whoa. How many books have you written? Well, this would be the first book uh, if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer. But conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure. Uh, like you just did. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have said my vocabulary is uncommon. Well, conjure up means coming up with something. I suppose I can't write the, I can't come up with a definition of it, but I know the, the gist of the word. Like come up is, is another word. Come up with stuff like that, or put together. I suppose it might be another definition, but I don't know. What do you do? What's your name again? Aqua. That kind of makes makes sense. Aqua, you know. Water. Ah, pardon, my name is Aqua. Hi Aqua, I'm Freya. And the barista here is Perry. Hey, what the fuck? Don't don't introduce me. I'm <sighs> I'm the main character, you remember that bitch. Ain't your book now. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Why am I speaking that way? Hello, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um I'm a researcher for the at a university. I'm going to assume it's the water lab or some shit. 
I also make games in my free time. Damn. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. Thanks. You said you can't write? But research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. Yeah, but writing facts and, and results of whatever is just facts and whatever. It's not coming up with a character, giving them a complex story, a background. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and come up with interesting stories uh, and, and a whole premise of what it's coming up with. You know what I mean? Facts and, and, and imagination are two different things. But it's descriptive writing. There you are. Not narrative writing. There you go. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Well, it involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. It sounds boring, I won't lie. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It would be, it wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. And it's true. Why would anyone, you know, it doesn't sound very interesting. Unless you're in that field, and that's a small, minute people. Unless you're reading, writing for a science paper or a science journal or some shit. Excuse me for interrupting, says Murray Tool or whatever her fucking name is. The Orc. <laughs> yes? You said you're a researcher on the computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Uh, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Sounds interesting. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice to meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. Okay, so she's a video games uh, graphic designer or whatever, you know, programmer or whatever. So we've got a journalist, a researcher um, for stuff, whatever, in, in, I can't remember what, I can't remember what she said she was involved in. University? I don't know, whatever. Um, and then we've got a games person. And I'm a barista. I'm starting to have major regrets about my career. I love that series so much. My name's Aqua, by the way. But you already know that. My name is Marito or whatever. Uh, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ah, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further, but I could, could I ask... Oh, could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't heard any, uh, received any replies. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes a bit to uh, takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. The Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about. Is that the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood, they have a budget for the flashy visuals, but I doubt they do the serious justice a lot of the time they don't. Why? Because some games tell their stories in a unique way. And some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not, one, you're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play arty games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. Hence the reason I'm, well, I won't say I'm bored of current video games, I'm playing this one, but it's certainly different. I am enjoying it for what it is. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence a lot of players are not gamers. They are more accessible to play. But harder to uh, perceive. That's true. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. 
Uh, sorry, I rambled on for a bit too long. But at least, that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was really good perspective. I play those games, uh, those types of games, thanks to people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of the artsy hipster, you know? Yeah, I kind of get that feeling from her as well. Green hair and shit, you know? Nailed it. So you understand my point about the adaptation, right? Adaptation. Kind of. Anyways, I need to get back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our questions. Or question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I, I also need to go home. <laughs> we can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Marto or whatever. Just Marto is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Perry. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. You take care uh, on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. Alright. Damn. We come up to the end of the day now. She's always the last one in my coffee shop. <laughs> so, yes. That was a nice talk. That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You are mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognise the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? <laughs> Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Oh, oh no, not her, but more gold. So she's worried about the feedback. Well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. And it just pans off. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh. It's the end of the day. That sucks. And the end of this video. At least, hopefully, I wonder what the feedback is going to be. Sunday, September 27th, 2020. Let's look at tomorrow's headlines anyway. Alright, research found the most furious sedative. What? The most furious sedative on the market are not safe. Okay, so. Hmm. They're going to have to stop taking them, apparently. Profile Morris Lester from Slum to Glam. Okay. Jal McLeod, 27 year old, actually found decapitated in his own bed. What? Damn. Fucking hell, someone decapitated him in his bed, man. That's crazy. Uh, well, that's a very interesting opening headlines for the day. Um, interesting world. I like the spacesuit guy, he was kind of funny. Uh, trying to learn about dating. Another interesting conversation with the researcher and the fact that the orc is a video games program or whatever, you know, etc. And um, yeah, our friend Freya really worried on the feedback as well of the book. So a lot happened in this past one or two videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the coffee here at the coffee shop or coffee talk. And uh, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, join me for tomorrow with another video. I think we've got two hours left maybe of this game. I'm not too sure. It's quite short in uh, retrospect. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.